So in this video I show how I'm uh, building uh, intake manifolds for the four cylinder Briggs. Uh, you can see here I've uh, got uh, the first intake manifold uh, well underway here. Still got some work to do in the center there where the carburetor joins up. Just show you how I'm going to work the carburetor here. Set it in there. Kind of see there. Go like that. So it's going to be dual carburetors. And uh, had to change the exhaust routing a bit just to get it around uh, the uh, exhaust here uh, in between the two cylinders. I knew that was going to be a problem. Uh, uh, in this case, this is number one cylinder. You have to work around the exhaust pipe there. So I actually ended up going with a uh, street 90 degree uh, three quarter inch elbow. This is actually one I pulled out of a uh, bridge from the scrapyard. This one here is uh, new. So somebody already thought that idea up and I, I don't know, I think they had it straight up, but uh, anyway, you see there I made the flange here and then I'm running a street uh, elbow there and three quarter inch copper pipe and then uh, these two here, uh, when I get done with it, that'll be more of a uh, circle. I will uh, braze it together and uh, either braze or solder the uh, copper, but uh, anyway just to show you what's going on there and then I'll uh, head in the other room here and uh, show you how I actually uh, did some of the uh, fabrication on this. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so started out, I made uh, four flanges like that out of uh, 316 steel. Then I had some um, it's some type of electrical conduit. It's galvanized, which doesn't make for good welding, but anyways. Uh, tack welded them on there for a hole in that one, but my son's going to uh, uh, weld them up for me. He has a welder that doesn't use flux core. Anyway, then I, uh, I wanted them to attach to the, the street elbow, so I uh, had to do some type of a flare job on it here. Now what I actually did, uh, first step was to uh, hacksaw uh, eight lines in it there. Um, and uh, while we're on the subject of hacksaws, I uh, do a lot of uh, hacksawing and I have to admit that these uh, yellow blades with the uh, cat on them there with the very sharp claws, man those things really cut. I have never seen such a good hacksaw blade before. So I highly recommend them. Anyway, getting back to this. So the first thing I did, I set it on my trusty ball peen hammer. I'll just show you here like this. And then uh, hit the top of it while I was rotating it. And that uh, ballooned it out. Now again, I, I would have the slots in it there uh, like this. That ballooned it out somewhat. And then I actually got to use a Briggs part to help make part of my Briggs here. Since the Briggs is a nice shallow cone where the taper where the flywheel mounts. I slipped it on there and then uh, took a, a hollow uh, hammer handle or a uh, piece of pipe would work and slammed it down. That made it circular and also uh, added a shallower taper to it. Then I took it off of there and I went through my socket set until I found one the same size as the, the, the uh, outside or uh, of a regular copper pipe or the end of the street elbow, stuck it in there, and then I actually ended up uh, going like this. I would uh, set that on there and then pound that down, or uh, set the flange on the vise like that and pound the socket down. That makes it nice and circular. And also, to finish it off, I wanted uh, these brought back parallel. So I stuck it in the vise like that and clamped it, and uh, that's it'll it'll bring these uh, parallel uh, so that your pipe fits in there really uh, nicely. So anyway, I see that this uh, bit is getting extremely long here. So 
You can see my uh, Y here. Uh, you can cut a 45 elbow. Uh, you take a piece uh, this shape out of it there. It looks like a bullet. And uh, you, end up, you can end up with a Y. So uh, one into two. So that's kind of the principle of my uh, intake manifold there. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. So the intake manifold is uh, coming along on the four-cylinder Briggs.